I am glad to report that all systems are go here at Marshall Space Flight Center. I'm standing on the roof of the blockhouse some 250 yards from the test stand. Beneath me, engineers are in the final countdown phase for the first static test of all five first stage engines on the Saturn V, the rocket that will someday carry astronauts to the moon. This enormous part of the rocket features five powerful F-1 engines, and today, April 16, 1965, for the first time, if all goes well, all five will fire together. This facility here in Huntsville has been the nerve center of the race to test the rockets that will fly the first humans to the moon. Werner von Braun and his team, along with engineers from Rocketdyne, have been designing and testing the F-1 engine for years, trying to solve the problems caused by scaling up to such a huge and powerful engine. Getting to this point has not been easy. Violent vibrations caused by the igniting fuel, what engineers call combustion instability or chugging, have been a nagging problem for the F-1. During many tests, these vibrations have literally ripped apart the engine setting the program back. But now, in order to meet President Kennedy's deadline, it has been decided to test all five together, two months ahead of schedule. A failure during this test could end our hopes of getting to the moon by the end of this decade. Attention all personnel. Attention all personnel. Clear the test stand area. Clear the test stand area. Looks like the test conductor, Robert Sadla, has checked with his guys on their console to confirm all systems are go. We are about to witness history in the making. possible.